Keeping Corydoras on gravel is just simply irresponsible as a fish keeper. They need a soft substrate like bare bottom or sand to keep their bottoms and their barbells safe. Don't they? What is going on everybody and welcome. If this is our first time meeting, I'm Kendall Water from Otter Creek Aquatics. And here on this channel, we talk about things like breeding, planet tanks, and some tips and tricks that could help you grow your aquarium keeping skills. So if you're into any of those topics or like the aquarium hobby, then please go ahead and consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming weekly videos. Now let's go ahead and dive into the corridors on gravel. So for this story, it starts about six months back when I decided to upload a video on three spawning triggers to help you spawn your corridors. And this is actually some footage from that video. To this day, this is one of my top performing videos, and it's got the most likes and most comments out of any other video on this channel. But there's still one thing that bothers me. I was told that Corydoras will not do well on any type of gravel substrate. Corydoras and any other type of fish for that matter will spawn when they are conditions that are perfect for them. And these panda corridors were spawning like crazy. Now you tell me, do they hate the Eco Complete? I had to do a quick trim on this tank just to get some shots of these panda corridors. I have lost one female since that video was made, but since then, that baby panda corridor that hatched in my tank as well as all of the others are still doing well and thriving. I haven't got any spawn since I lost that female so I put it out to them not being up to sexual maturity yet but we'll just have to see how that goes in the future. But as for now these panda corridors seem extremely happy and I'm going to leave them on this Eco Complete because through my own research, I have found that they do well on it. Only having one tank with gravel or Eco Complete may have not have given me enough data to actually put this into perspective to where they were safe on Eco Complete or gravel. But this isn't the only Corridor's tank I have with gravel. I've got two others. Here we have some Corydoras Agazizii that I picked up from my local fish store when I brought this channel along on the local fish store tour of Pets Palace in Louisville, Kentucky. I've absolutely fell in love with the pattern on these Corydoras and they've slowly made their way to the top of all of the Corydora species that I've ever kept. Although 5 months isn't a big number to be bragging about, and I have yet to get these guys to spawn for me. I still have all six of these original Corridors, and not only are they surviving, but they are absolutely thriving on this sand mixed with pea gravel substrate. So for now, in my eyes, I'm still chalking this one up as a win. Next, we have the peppered corridors, as some people like to call them, the blue leopard corridors. And these are actually in the 55 gallon that you've seen behind me to the left in the intro. And if you look on the bottom, this tank as well is just plumb full of eco complete. And the crazy thing about this is the last few videos on my channel has been about them breeding. So this is actually some footage from a video I put on the channel a couple weeks back and the video is all about this container that I have been raising these corridors fry in. So this just goes to show that they are actively spawning and they are super happy. And as you can see here these corridors fry are starting to gain some respectable size and once they get big enough they will be returned to the 55 gallon where they will live happily 
on EcoComplete. So as you can see with these three tanks behind me, I not only have corridors living on gravel, but they're also thriving and breeding. And this just goes to show, not always believe everything that you read or see on the internet, but do your own research when it comes to your aquariums, because that is a huge part of the aquarium hobby, is getting in there and seeing what you can do. So please, if there's anything that you have seen on the internet that you think could not be the case, go ahead and try it out for yourself. You're going to kill plants, you're going to kill fish, that's a part of the aquarium hobby. You live and you learn. If I would have killed some Corydoras and I knew that the cause was the gravel or the eco-complete, I sure as hell would not have got more. But now that I know that they thrive and breed on gravel and eco-complete, I'm going to keep getting Corydoras and keep putting them on gravel and eco-complete. So let me know what kind of substrate you keep your corridors on in your aquarium. And definitely let me know down in the comments below if you're going to try some gravel or eco-complete with your corridors now that you've seen this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to see any of my upcoming weekly videos. Keep following your dreams, keep inspiring, and until next time everybody, see you.